It was Canada Day the other day, so I thought I'd make a song for my friends, cause they're from Canada and they're like Canada, and they had another day in Canada again. They like to go buy beer at the store and then play mini games with me, and then I rage quit, and they're like, what the heck is wrong with Chuck, and the next day I'm like, that was nothing. Yeah. Hey everybody, Chucky Pooh back, Chucky Pooh's back, and he ain't got no pants on, ain't got no shirt, cause he doesn't really need them, only wears a hat and boots. Ah, I only need a hat and boots. Chicka chicka pa, chicka chicka pa, fish, fish lab, fish lab, in your face. And today guys, we, so many things have been done here, I have not recorded hardly any of it. Um, kind of my recording type thing that I do is more... Uh, of build based and whatnot a lot of it's a behind the scenes stuff and I usually tear down a lot while I'm building I kind of create as I go I don't really use creative too much I don't there is no creative in this world but I don't like practice builds I come and kind of wing it I kind of wing it and uh, I was winging it hanging out with Liz the other day she punched me in the face because I was just winging it and she's like hey shut up smack hit me with a fish got a black eye black eye is gonna stay I'm gonna keep 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 punching myself so it stays and uh, I, uh, basically what I'm saying is I'm just going to show you around in the things that I have accomplished basically so far. A lot of projects are still in the workings. I'm going to kind of just give you a run over of pretty much everything. So basically this is the house. I'm, I, I don't really build homes. I kind of do storage and I save up materials. Um, so something new I've put in is just extra storage chests here. I put in a tiny smelter to get things done when I'm at home. I, I, me and Liz uh, got some cats the other day. I named him Chucky Pooh's Punching Bag, so I'll punch him sometimes. Not right now. Don't want to. Um, I have got horses. Um, these are not named. They're, they're kind of speedy. They're not the greatest greatest. Might end up getting some more stuff. Uh, I got a little snow golem because I was farming snow like crazy. And I put in some bulk storage units down here. These are basically just for cobble, and each light represents uh, two hoppers and one double chest. You can kind of see back here, these are all full, which is great. Oh, dang it, took some. Put it back in the system, way up here, way up here, there we go. And so this will be cobble, this will be stone. And we do crazy projects here so I mean we need tons of supplies and tons of storage space so that's just for the future really got my double level iron farm she has been running and basically I called it beacon central because we're using all of this for community beacons basically you can see they're going up bam bam there is one in the center Chuck pool fall down hurt his legs hurt his legs my legs hurt now but I put in the oh crap I fell hatch for this reason. Cause I be falling. Chucky Pooh be falling. He gets back up. Oh crap, I fail. Hatch. Okay. So you can see that um, uh, one of the first projects I had done, which I believe I showed, was the main circle. And it's basically just a community gathering spot. We kind of meet here when we're talking in game and whatnot. We all have mailboxes with stuff in them. Ooh, he's got all kinds of stuff. Let's take his stuff. Nah, I'm just kidding. Everybody's got some stuff. Got a ender chest there. We got an enchanting setup. We got like a community resource thing. This is just like, hey, drop off your crap and somebody will use it type thing. Got a potion brewer set up over here. Oh yeah, I didn't ever pick these up. Let's take these puppies. Whoops. Okay. We got those, and let's see, Luigi's house. There is over by Luigi's house. Do I have an arrow? Thank God. Thank Jesus. All right. So over there, we got our trapped creeper, which is great, greatness. I put in this super smelter, which will cook uh, 50, all of these items will fire at the same time. It's not full, we do not have fuel. We're gonna wait till we get a blaze farm. I'm trying to make BJW do it really fast like so all this will cook 15 different stacks of items at the exact same time so basically you could fill a whole chest right here and it'll just output it here and it cooks like amazing it does like a stack a minute I want to say like it's it's crazy efficient 
So it's basically when you <clears throat> basically when you do mega build type stuff, like if you need fast processed goods, that's what that is for. So that will help us in the future quite the bit. Everybody has been doing amazing things on here, building huge bases, reconstructing things. We're mining like crazy. We're gathering resources. We're in the middle of finishing up the Guardian Farm, which I'll probably show you last. We kind of are creating this area, which has AFK Fitch Farm BJ Dub put in, which is freaking awesome. Um, this is the going to be the new storage for the Iron Golem Farm that locates on this side of the the island, which you can pretty much see right there. It's right there, and then there's one far over there. You kind of collect in the same spot. As long as it's loaded, it's good. But um, I built this one specifically towards the middle of the island more because it's loaded when basically people are on. So it's like that one's running like a champ where uh, this far, far one doesn't get too much output. And it was just our, it was our, all of our own faults for not really thinking about what we were doing at first. I mean, this guy runs, this guy runs good, but that guy over there isn't always loaded. So it's like, we kind of have a problem with that, but we're going to work out more iron farm situation because we need iron blocks like crazy for beacons and for building in the end, really. So... I think I will take a boat ride. We'll go grab a boat, we'll get back to you, and we'll be back in a minute. All right, Chucky Poo back with the boat. Coming to save the day. Coming to save the day. Actually, I'm not saving anything. Just gonna show you some, uh, Gonna show you some, uh. Ooh, ah. So, plop this guy down. And one thing I had done is put in these torches. We used to just have a pumpkin path that was basically lighting up the way back to original spawn. And I kind of took out the pumpkins and made these torch towers as I go. Figured it's just a little more visually stimulating than a pumpkin in the water. Not that there's nothing wrong with a pumpkin in the water. Everybody loves a pumpkin. You know what I'm saying? I like pumpkins. You like pumpkins? If they're in the water, it's say, oh, don't crouch in a boat. Don't crouch in a boat. I always forget that. I always still try to do it anyway. Can we get in the boat? Where's the boat? There it is. Oh, we're back. We're back. We're trucking. We can swing our arms. So basically, we're leaving the island, go back to main spawn. I did do somewhat of a build over here. And I figure I'd just talk to you guys. You know, riding a boat, swing, swing. Um, the island has been amazing. We are doing great things here. We're killing withers. We're getting skulls. We're retransforming this land. We're sliding in boats from side to side. We're punching. We're punching each other in the head. We're killing each other. We're respawning, which is good because then, I mean, kind of need that. Where am I? Okay, I'm where I'm supposed to be, I believe. Right? Yes, kind of. And I will show you. Oh, let's let's get this right. Let's get this sorted out. Um, this is one of the builds that I had done as just like a representation of spawn. It doesn't, I don't really know what it is. We're not sure what it is. We call it the chuck thing because it's basically just a visual build, kind of a gateway spawn to out into where the island is, which is right over there. And this is kind of where we come over and fight the withers. There's a path down right there. It's where we've been doing the wither fighting. And this is just the main spawn. This is where we all came into the game that one faithful day right over by that glass and that stuff. And this is kind of what I did. And then, like, I kind of stopped it. I think I will come back here and do more. This is, I would be like, it doesn't really serve a purpose. And that that was pretty much the point is just to be a visual build. And we got basically three different rows of circleness. And it doesn't really serve a point, but it kind of looks cool. And <clears throat> we might we might turn this into a useful thing. I mean, I don't know why we wouldn't. I mean, this is the spawn area, so anything that we need permanently loaded would have to be built here. And we could kind of use this to, for storage or to shuttle stuff to as some kind of waypoint. Not really sure yet. And this is basically just the levels, and they're all pretty much decked out and built. 
I think there will be more done here eventually, but this is kind of just on hold as a visual piece. And it's got a couple little archways, and I don't I don't know what it is. It's it's the Chuck thing. You like it? The Chuck thing. Okay. So we can come over here, and um, this is kind of where we have been coming to try to find dogs. We've seen them seen them spawn here. Um, over that way, we do have swamp and plains. That's where I got horses from. Um, over here is where we have like a little mining slash wither fighting area. And you basically just run down here. You have to eat fish while you run it down here or else you're not supposed to use it. So I'll have to make sure everybody's following those rules. And we just got a bed and a chest and some storage. That's, yeah, I got quite a bit of picks. Efficiency fives going on these three and extra silk touch. I got a silk touch, got a fortune three, got some decked out tools. I do have armor in case things get scary, but I like to kind of wing it in my thong because Chuck's crazy. Chuck's a crazy pants. And this is where we've been fighting withers at. I think we fought two or three down here. All right, guys, Chucky Poo is back. Back to show you one last thing. Greatest thing that we have done so far. Everybody working together, making awesome things. Yeah, let's go to the nether. There's my mouth. Oh, get, oh, get out of here. Get out. Oh, hey, everybody. Heading over here. Probably a portal somewhere in this direction. I hope. Sure is. Ooh. Let's go through it. And we are here. We are here, we are here. We're in the greatest place ever, yeah. So I shall show you around what we have accomplished. As you can see, we have our guardian farm set up and we're getting too much stuff. Need more crystals, really. Besides that, we got so much fish and prismarine junk. Bunch of fish. We'll take some fish. What are these doing here? And basically, this is just extra block storage as we craft. Um, this thing's been up and running for probably five or six days now, maybe a little bit longer. But this is really the main thing here. Look what we have done. We got an Elder Guardian, we got a Guardian, we got the logo, logo of the server, which is awesome. And we have everybody's head in pixel art. And, <laughs> you mad bro? You mad bro? I'm gonna guess somebody did a little pranky right there. Um, I think something else is gonna go here. We have not decided yet. Um, I had, I had, me and Queen had built all the pixel art right here. Oh, A-string did Shakira because I couldn't handle it. And I kind of did the border design that's there. I put up this logo. Uh, Jerker was actually gonna do it, but I was kind of, <laughs> I kind of got ants in my pants and wanted to get it up. And I did it, and now he hates me. Joker hates me now. He hates Chuck. But uh, we still have to design this last wall, and you see we still need to like cap off the corners and finish the top up there and the sides over here, and then that wall. And basically, this will be pretty much done. And it looks amazing, and pretty much everybody had helped out. I think about five people on the server had helped out here. It was I think it was mostly me, BJ, Queen, A-String. Me and A-String did a whole bunch of it, whole bunch of it. But people helped out, gotta give them credit. Give the guys credit. I think Joker even helped out a little over here as well. And Dagda, I think Dagda tooled around over here as well. So thanks to those guys, because we have some amazingness going on here. And this thing flows pretty steadily. It's constant drops if anything is over here, which is so sweet that I wanna eat fish. Chucky love his fish, Chucky eating his fish, yeah. So we will go up here, and I did like build a little garden spot on top of this. And basically, we're gonna use it for villager trading on top over here. I'll show you once I get up. Go faster, man, faster. So it's like once you're up here, 
Oh yeah, I was like, I moved the walls out so we could actually build like two, two or three dimensional like pictures and whatnot. That's kind of why these are off. I think I might make this outer circle bigger in the end here since we moved it back out. And basically all I did is create a garden basically that looks over the kill chamber. Kind of got some glass floors going in here. So you can at least see that, which is kind of cool. And I, I might trade out these floors on these sides for something else. Maybe just put glass in. There's no paths underneath them, though, you can see. It's just just uh, half slabs there. And basically what I think I'm going to do is all in these locations that are on the sides. I'm going to set up like villager little hub trading type situations. And uh, the villager breeder is on the other side of this mountain. So currently we use it. Can we see it? Can we see it? We can't see it. Yeah, I can't even get up. Break this block. And that's not going to help us. Can I get up over here? Take the long way, Chuck. Way to go. So basically, we've been using the village breeder over there. You can see that long bridge that keeps coming in and going out. Uh, we've been moving them to the iron farm locations, basically. Do we have a boat over here? No, but we got boat shoes. And as you can see, these guys are over here in an infinite villager breeder, and they basically, they just keep on breeding. So as long as this area is loaded, they'll just keep populating, which is great. And I was AFK over here, and I think on the stream, Queen came and put a statue, and then they upcased me, or <laughs> surrounded me upcased. That's a good word. Yeah, way to go. Um, they surrounded me in dirt and obsidian, so I like came back from AFK, and, and I had to break out. Luckily, I had my pick on me, or else I would have had to kill everybody and burn their house down. But I didn't have to, so that's good. And as you can see, um, we do have more villagers over here. Um, these are basically the white coats. They got good books. So we basically trade with those guys from time to time. I usually forget they're there, to tell you the truth. Need to start doing that more. And the new iron farm that I had just put in is the same design as the double one I have right here. Well, bam, well, bam. I was like, oh, I need to take my dirt pillar out. Dang it. Hate doing that. But it's fun to jump to the slam block, I'll tell you what. And there. Bam, 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 bam. And there's already enough villager, villagers over there to where it is populated. And the golems are already spawning. So that is greatness. I think we can just get to it right here. Yes. And bam, we already got that. Um, this has only been up for about an hour, really. So... Basically, I'm going, I think I'm going to build them all over the island just so whenever anybody gets um, a wither or nether star, whatever, so we can build the beacons. They can just go hit that iron farm, hit that iron farm, hit this iron farm. Oh, there we go. Just got to drop. And we can just get all the iron right away. So you can just make iron blocks and put up your beacon as soon as you get it. Basically, that's really the idea. And I think that is about it for the tour today. We've showed you all around, showed you this mess, showed you the guardian farm that is almost finished, and it's already up and functional, so I mean, it's just really decorating it is the main thing. And I will see you guys later. I do not know what projects are coming up, but I'm going to do something cool. I can give you that. Give you that tad bit of info. So everybody have a good day. Chuck Pussy later. Bye-bye.